land ownership in the United States is considered a key part of building generational wealth. But historically, in the black community, land has been hard to obtain and keep. Recently, 19 black families came together to change that. Black women, go yeah. to the damn thing. <laughs> A moment of triumph as black families walk upon nearly 97 acres of land that they're thrilled to now call their own. Here in Tombsboro, Georgia, among the lush greenery and breathtaking scenery is where Ashley Scott and Renee Walters hope their people can finally find freedom. Everything that I'm doing with the Freedom Georgia Initiative is uh, for legacy, for generational wealth, and to help uh, inspire the world. The Friends United amid the nationwide unrest sparked by the deaths of Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd, and Breonna Taylor. Walters reveals the trauma surrounding the murders led her to seek therapy. I got a sense of anxiety when my husband would leave the house to go to work. Scott says the situation left her feeling powerless to protect her own family. It was just disheartening when it comes to being black in America. They pondered how they could make a lasting impact beyond protesting and signing petitions. There was this, this desire, this need to be able to affect real change in a mass black power. After learning there was land for sale in Wilkinson County, Scott and Walter spoke with friends about teaming up to acquire it. So when we presented the opportunity, everybody just jumped on the chance because we just knew that it would be something great. That's how the Freedom Georgia initiative was born. In August, the 19 families purchased the 96.71 acres in Tombsboro that you see here. Their goal? To create a new Black Wall Street, a safe space for people of color to live and thrive. We see tiny home retreats, we see nice beautiful farm homes for you to have weddings, we see barns and horses. The pioneers say never before have their families owned land until now. We have to create generational wealth and we have to begin to work collectively and recycle our dollars in our own communities. Buying the land marks the first of many steps toward bringing the city of Freedom, Georgia to fruition. Cornelius Blanding, executive director of the Atlanta-based Federation of Southern Cooperatives Land Assistance Fund, says he's excited for the families, but Blanding also has concerns. So many of us go back to the land and we don't have the tools we need to properly develop it. We don't truly understand the history of things and, uh, and understand it from the standpoint of what have been the, the challenges historically and how do we avoid those challenges. Those historical challenges, he says, include discrimination, systemic racism, and heirs' property. What that is is you have families who don't have a will or an estate plan, that don't have clear ownership. It's land that's been passed down uh, for generations uh, without a will. Not identifying a legally designated owner puts family-owned land in jeopardy, he says. Blanding recommends that the Freedom Georgia Initiative makes sure to take steps to protect its new land. That there's some form of will, estate plan, some corporation, some family trust, or some form of structure. So getting the property structured so that they can protect it is one of the most important things that they would do. For those who hope to achieve a similar feat in their own communities, Blanding says access to the right kind of capital is key. When black folks understand more, come together more around pooling capital, whether it be in communities to create these community development credit unions or collectively to create some type of financial institution. Right now, Walters, Scott, and the other families have a lot on their freedom agenda. Fire services, emergency services, law enforcement, road and uh, water and sewage. Financially, they're getting help from people all over. Through a GoFundMe page, families have raised over $63,000 of an $88,000 goal. They say their mission will take time, but they're ready and willing to put in the work. We want to be a model for cities and towns all over to show them that you can bring your friends and family together and purchase land because now is the time. Welcome to freedom. Welcome to freedom. Welcome to freedom. Scott and Walter say they hope the city of Freedom, Georgia will be up and running within the next three to five years. In Tombsboro, Ashley Williams for Atlanta Black Star.